It was a guided tour of one of the nation's leading high schools. H.J. Robinson, led by the Minister of Education, the Honorable Dr. Carlton Mills, our Angie Toussaint, was there and filed this report. It is a project long overdue, and after an extended hiatus, the Ministry of Education is finally introducing the construction of the new expansion box for the H.J. Robinson High School and a demolition of the old deteriorating white and red building that once served as the only high school in Grand Turk. WIV4 took a trip to the nation's capital to speak to those involved with the project. Well, this is we are about to start this, but start about the middle of this month with the project. And it's supposed to be about six months to get it completely. I do trust and hope that we get it done faster than that. But you know, sometimes things don't work the way you want it, but we hope to get it in six months, yeah, completed. Leonard Glasgow, education officer, said he is excited about the project, which represents a great milestone for the education department and the island of Grand Turk. I'm very excited about this project. It has been a very long time in the pipeline, so to speak. And it's a very pleasant sight this morning to see that um, it has finally gotten off the ground. We are very confident that Mr. Green is going to deliver the project on time. And hopefully we're going to have it for the beginning of the new school year come September. As other sectors are advancing in infrastructure and development, the school should be revised and modernized as well. The, the theme is that we're going to modernize the country. And I think the best place to start is with the school. So we're going to get a, this new building. We are looking forward to it. It's exciting. And we trust that the parents and the student population, the whole of Grand Turk too, would be very glad finally to see this building taking place. There is an enrollment of at least 406 students at the Helena J. Robinson High School. This addition will certainly ease the student population and the areas for administrators. The Minister of Education toured the school with WIV4 and said this year the government is putting an emphasis on the development of our educational and medical sectors. One of the things one has to take into consideration is that um, HJ is the first high school in the Turks and Caicos Islands and um, this project has been around for quite some time and it's uh, pleasing to know that it has eventually started and I want to first and foremost thank Honorable Jeffrey Hall, um, the minister um, responsible and e the crew from EMS uh, for ensuring that this project uh, is on stream. Um, it will include, as you were made aware, uh, a new administrative block. I think one of the things that was not said, a library will also be included in the project. Um, uh, sports facilities, particularly a basketball court. I, I l usually like to say that there are two major issues that we are going to be addressing this year. The infra one is the infrastructural development of schools. Um, you, you've seen it with the project at H.J. Uh, Robinson High School, which has started already. That is in, to the tune of over $2 million. He said other schools are being renovated. The system is being revamped and more objectives are being set for teachers and students. WIV4 will have an update on what the minister plans to do with our schools and the education system in 2008.